What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to talk about from Nightmare on Elm Street in this video here today and also a small thing of comments from Jasmine Brown and shaping a whole theory around that for an opening sequence I now have in my mind regarding Scream 7. But just to start off with Nightmare on Elm Street, the update rumor I would say that is out there now for Nightmare on Elm Street is that some big companies are trying to land the rights to the series. Warner Brothers was actually reported last year to be negotiating their domestic rights because if you recall, New Line Cinema, to my knowledge, is under Warner Brothers. So that's that would explain why Warner Brothers is reported and not New Line Cinema since Warner Brothers oversees them. But I would assume they must have ended up losing their rights and are now competing with others to attain the rights once again. This rumor is coming from KDM, who has a history with film journalism. For anyone wondering who that is, they do have a Twitter that I'll link in the description. But also, here's the other interesting thing. Remember, back in 2019, Wes Craven's estate had had, had, had the rights reverted back to them for Freddy and Nightmare on Elm Street, the U.S. rights. This was reported exclusively by Bloody Disgusting back in 2019. So the Craven estate would have the last word on creatively how the series would move forward. Now, in a simple world... If they were actively taking pitches, like it was also reported back in 2019, one of those pitches, if they had agreed with it, could have been accepted and Warner Brothers and New Line could have worked with them on producing and distributing it, but we never got a new film. So I would ex I would assume that they have not been satisfied with a lot of these offers. And that's actually another thing that I was told personally, that they have not been satisfied with a lot of the offers that have come their way. We've had Elijah Wood, Mike Flanagan, Jason Blum from Blumhouse, just a few notable people that have expressed interest in reviving the Dream Demon. Actually, Jason believes he could get Robert to return to the series. He said, I could make him come back. He told this to Screen Rant back in 2022. He said, I could get anyone back. I mean, Ellen Burstyn was 87. I got her back in the upcoming Exorcist sequel. Now, given that Burstyn is playing her original character in the upcoming David Gordon Green film, I assume he believes he could get England to play Kruger again. Now, here's the thing. There's a successful way to do that, I'm sure. But are fans just ready to see a new interpretation also done correctly after all these years that have passed? I don't think we would be against seeing Kruger back or seeing England back as Kruger, but I also wouldn't be against giving me a newer interpretation of it that just is in line with what Kruger or what England brought to the uh, character. Now, everyone is starved for Freddy content, and I was told that Paramount has their hand in this bid as well, but we'll see who win who wins this, if anything, comes from it. It's also possible that their Craven estate is what's really just trying to be eliminated since they appear to be playing hardball and, again, have rejected every pitch that has come their way. Now, jumping into Scream 7, Jasmine Brown had this to say about Scream 7 recently when speaking with MovieWeb. She stated, I would love to see Ghostface on an island, maybe Hawaii or at a resort somewhere tropical. You know, for the first bit of the movie, we're just relaxing and drinking in the pool. It will be a White Lotus and Scream crossover. That would be fun. I should pitch that. I'm going to make some calls. Now, disregarding the White Lotus aspect, then the opening at a resort, I could see myself preferring that over the entire I still know what you did last summer route taking over the whole movie. The whole movie being set at a resort, I don't want that over what she has now proposed. I could dig an opening taking place at like a tropical island or something, and the people you could have involved in this could be our carpenter ladies. Maybe sometime in between the events of Scream 6 and Scream 7, they managed to repair their relationship with their mother, Sam and Tara, of course, that being. So in the opening, we get to meet Christina and see her interact with her daughters while they're on a vacation somewhere for Christina's job. And she's taking her daughters with her. They could be on some tropical resort island, the way Jasmine has suggested. And during this opening, we get to see them interact with each other. And then it leads into, of course, somebody getting killed by Ghostface, who is there at the resort. You get the classic signature phone call opening, taunting, movie references, a lot of meta dialogue, an intense chase sequence. And then you build up to the reveal that the person who has died in this opening sequence would be Tara Carpenter. Now, this is not me saying that they should kill Tara in the opening. I'm just saying when I say it, it's not me saying they should like this isn't me saying this is what I would personally write. This is how I would see them doing it, though, if let's say again, someone like a Jenna Ortega was not able to commit. You could easily do something like this where you use Tara's death to not only push the narrative forward in a way that draws a lot of suspicion around the character of Sam further, but it also puts Sam in a weird position where we are now toying with that was Tara really the thing that kept her kept her grounded. 
is Tara's death the thing that's gonna cause her to snap? And the killer, like I've said in another video, could use that to kind of just build this doubt around Sam for people who are close to her, who think that she is the new killer because this resort opening attack could be detached by a few years from the remainder of the movie. Tara could die in the opening and then the movie could jump a year or two later and Ghostface is back. And it's the same person who did the resort attack. They just never were caught. They just were able to get away and never got caught. And it's been investigated ever since. And now this person is back. They have partners. And again, I would link it all to Leslie Mocker. And that would be how my Scream 7 plays out. I think that would be a very cool opening scene to have it at a resort. You could even have it at the finale. But I think I would prefer to see a tropical setting for the opening, but not for the whole movie. I would, I would just prefer the tropical setting that people have stated they would like to see. I think they could do that in like a section of the movie and then the rest of the film can be somewhere else in California. Take us back to Woodsboro, take us back to some other different new location, but not a complete movie set at a resort. I just do not want that after Jasmine has suggested something that I think could be far superior if done right. You guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notification so you can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.